So I've seen a lot of people playing Lost Ark and I thought I would give it a go myself. Now, I've never played an MMO before. Um, I know that may seem hard to believe, but it's true. I think the closest I've ever got to a game like this would be like the old Final Fantasies, like Final Fantasy X. So I'm going in with completely fresh eyes. Now, some of you may have it already and some of you may not. Um, so hopefully I can uh, give you a little insight into what the game is like. But let's not go in for too long. Let's get straight into the game. Okay, so these are your classes. I won't go through all of these because I don't want to spoil it. If you've not played it, you can go through them yourself, you know, and you can see them for the first time. Or oh, I really like Soul Fist. Yeah. Now, because I'm a complete, like, little baby chicken, I'm actually using controller. So, I know, I know, that's how much of a noob I am. But I kind of feel like something like this will be good for controller because there's, there's not as much click and point. The classes are all so good. But it just, it makes your decision so much harder. Because you're like, you see one, you're like, oh, I like this one, this is good. And then you're like, oh, no, I like this one. I, want... I just don't know. I think we're going to go Shadow Hunter. This just looks so good. Yeah, we're doing it, guys. We're going Shadow Hunter. Right, so design my character. I'm guessing most people will go for like an all black. I'm going to try and go for an all white. I think I've worked out once you've set your appearance and then you want to change it again i think you might have to pay real money like get credits or something just word of warning when you create your character you know make sure you get it right hey and there is our character finished um yeah doesn't look too bad now you can't actually um edit your outfits too much like there's just preset ones but i guess you uh collect armor as you play the game now there was a cutscene before this part but i'm gonna try not to show too many cutscenes because you know i'm gonna try and make it so there's not too many spoilers in here so if you do play it yourself like you can experience all that for the first time. I'm now using controller. Oh. It's like uh, for uh, Ragnar Ragnarok, was it called? With the, uh, I can't think of the name of the bridge, but you know what I'm talking about. Try opening the Tome of Prophecy. It will show you the path of your destiny. Now, like, I actually picked a um, white outfit, so I don't know why my outfit is black. But let's have a look what's in this little book. Right, we're going with Shadow Hunter. So let's click on that. Ooh, class tester, yes. So now we can test the class, I guess, yeah. Right, so LB and the buttons, are okay. Ooh, okay, that's like a close attack. Mm, kind of a mid-range. Now that's um, definitely a distance attack. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so it seems X is close. Y is mid-range. And then B and A are distance attacks. Got it. <clears throat> Choose your path. It lets you test it first, make sure that you want to go with it. Now, one thing I would have liked is I would have liked to be able to do this with all the classes. Like, so um, at the beginning, but then I guess you can't design your character, can you? I kind of feel like this part should have came at the start and then you could have tested all the classes and then you could have picked one and then you could have designed your character. And um, they should have went that way with it, in my opinion. But like you did get to see what the classes were like. You just didn't get to play them for yourself. Um, yeah, I choose this destiny. Let's go. Oh. The effects for the moves in that are just so good. I really, really like them. I guess we're going in this little portal. You will now take your first step in the quest for the... Oh, exciting. The future of Arcasia is in your hands. Me? Is that like me coming down from the sky, I guess? Maybe, possibly. Who's this little dude? The pillar of light. We better get moving. Come back, you crazy old man! I have no idea who they were, but, you know, I'm sure we'll get to find out at some point. Look alive, scrubs. We're here. <laughs> oh, they give me like a little, um... So I've got like a little bird on the forehead of my uh, my character now. But I didn't put that there. Next stop, Trua, the Forgotten Land. Ooh.
Yeah, that was cool. That little intro, that little kind of mini intro, like intro to the intro, was kind of cool. I like that. Like, from what I've seen so far, this game looks great. Like, the look of it. It's a beautiful game. We are going to take off once they get Let's go. Now, like, see, this part right here, it really reminds me of old school Final Fantasy. Finally. You know, with the top down camera and uh, the way they walk and move. And Okay, so this guy wants to talk to me. Voyage, huh? Be wary, though. The landlubbers can stab you in the back at any time. As for you, where are you from? It contains a special weapon that was specially crafted. Light, I see, I see. This is just like the prologue now. In the actual footage you'll see, and I probably will skip uh, the majority of this, so, you know, not to spoil too much of it, so you can just run for it yourself and play for it yourself. Right, we've got a little chest here, which um, has got a, a blade in it. So we will take that. And then equipped it. So we didn't even like have that for one fight. We instantly got a new weapon. <laughs> I guess you know, any like at least it's an upgrade. So that's pretty much most of the prologue done. I don't know too much about like this stuff, but I guess every day you get like um, quests and stuff, and, and maybe some like uh, some drops, titles, pinnacle. Okay, let's apply that. We are now at Pinnacle Zysix. I don't know what that gives us, but maybe gives us something. Now, what do these do? Uh, a magical feather that brings the dead back to life. Okay, so that's like a revival now. Um, do I want to put... Okay, I can't put that in there for some... The slot is only for healing potions, toys, food, emotes, sheet music, and mounts. Okay. Okay, that, that makes sense. I'd probably end up accidentally uh, using them anyway. Now, how do I get to, like, uh, emotes then? Ah, community emotes. There are, right, so we can drag these into there. So, like, do a little dance. Okay, let's go, let's go. They say he can heal any illness. We're going to meet some dude, I guess. Is that really him? He looks far too young. Does he really have healing powers? Uh, he looks rather frail. Daddy, who's that? A very famous priest. Now. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, hey, okay, you need my help, huh? I got you. There we go. Easy. Oh, it's more. Uh, you know, get out of yeah, it was just like a warm up, I guess, because he was just healing me all the time. Um, right, I got to get in. Oh, I got to talk to him. Thank you for saving me. Are you headed to Prideholm? I am indeed. Why don't you ride with me in the village in my wagon? Giggity giggity. Ooh, what did I just get? I'm sure he gave me something there, didn't he? I saw like crystal or something. I think I got a crystal, but I don't know what happened to it. So, what business do you have in Prideholm? Oh, you're searching oh. for the Ark? You know, most people believe the Ark is a myth. I hear there is a stone tablet in this village uh -oh. that contains Who's this guy? The Ark. Who is that? Ah, uh, they're just bandits, I think. Yeah. Uh, oh just let me get out. I'll just destroy them all. We can go on our way. Or not. We can just kind of <laughs> run. Yeah, that's a strong wagon. The horse! No. no! That horse just yeeted right off the cliff. Oh well. Not a real horse, guys. Come on. Oh no. They followed me all the way here. Watch out. Oh. Here comes more. Right, 
Right, I've realised what's going on here. Like, so in the intro, you had a little warm-up with your I character. The last of them. But I haven't actually got the abilities that I had then. I've not got, like, um, these two abilities down here, you see. Whereas in the warm-up, I had these, but they're gone. So I need to level up before I can get those. Okay. The Ark's Relic is in the Cathedral. Please come find me once you arrive at the Cathedral. Ooh. So I guess we're here. Um... Right home. Right, we are there. But that didn't take long. Feel the warmth of the light. As you can see, part of it is missing. Such a large portion. I wonder what happened to it. The tablet was already like this when it arrived at the cathedral. Hmm. I think it went missing during the transport. Our attempts to recover it have failed. And this is where I come in, I guess? You want me to go and get it? No one really knows how the portion of the stone tablet disappeared. Thank you so much for protecting Father Armin. No worries, mate. What am I here for? I'm still a bit upset we didn't get our white outfit. Because I definitely chose that. Right, what's this? Claim reward. So we get a thousand silver. We've only got 70. And we get a thousand. Okay, that sounds fair. Right, what's this? World map obtained. Yeah, okay. Hello, adventurer. Right, so we've got to choose a horse. we we'll go with a white horse. How about that? We can't have a white outfit or have a white horse. That horse would probably come... It'd be black, wouldn't it? Everything's going to be black in this game. I can't actually see anybody in a white outfit. See, I knew everybody would go back, so that's why I wanted to go white. Okay, so we've got a mount now. Going to inventory, so now I can drag this down to here. Can I? Can I? Oh, i got to unlock it first. Ah, it's gone. Where did it go? Nobody knows. Um, right, we didn't get anything else. Mounts, here we go. Yes, now I can drag it into there. That makes things a little bit easier. So now if I RBY, it called a horse rat. Um, what's this guy want? We've got some flowers for Becca from Big C. Right, so that's just like a little mission. All these little curses are for my missions and uh, just, you know, things I can unlock, like a pet. Anything exciting going on today? Oh, this is that Becca, right? Um, Big C from Cordell. Yo, Big C from Cordell. Send me flowers two days in a row now. I guess I'd say that. I got a feeling she don't talk like that, but you never know, right? I guess I'll take them. But what am I supposed to do with them? I don't exactly have a green thumb. Don't shoot the messenger. These flowers are more of a bother than anything. She is so weird. I've got to talk to her again. The flowers are more of a bother. Okay, I see what's happening here. One of the flower beds in the plaza would be a perfect place just to do that. The perfect crime. Would you put these flowers in the flower beds? Ain't no slave. Alright, I guess I will then. Over here. Got to talk to her again. She's, um... Yeah, she's a character for sure. So, got any news? You're new to Pride Home, aren't you? If you'd like to see the rest of Pride Home, I could recommend a few good places. Interested? Yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, hopefully it means that I get to fight some people. These are all like real life players, aren't they? So, got any news? So, got any news? Oh, we got some quests. What's this about? Um, right, so that was just welcome to Pride Home. Okay, so we've unlocked that. Interesting, interesting. Communities flashing up. Guilds. Okay, so if you want to join a guild, that's the Football Premier League badge. Go why they got that. Check the Vista. Oh, here. Hey, buddy. Can you stop, like, heavy breathing in my ear? Shut up. Do they actually give you stuff? Virtue points earned through wisdom, courage, charisma, and kindness. I, I don't think these give you anything. Yeah, I, I don't know what they actually do, those um, titles. Right. 
What I need is some inspiration to see someone involved in an amazing and innovative act of creativity. Are you the creative type? Well, my viewers would say no. Perhaps you can help me. Can you think of anything? I need okay, so apparently, Lord of all gods, I've got to do like a little dance. Is that it? Am I done? He's like, dance monkey, dance. I just saw something that utterly blew my mind. We did that. I don't know what it got us, but... Combat skills. Ah, we got a little upgrade. Now I do like my, my close attack, so I'm gonna give that a little upgrade. So that's um, our mana, isn't it? that would give us 3% extra. Or, you know, 3% less, I guess. Uh, oh, cooldown, that gives us 0.2 seconds. And last attack has paralysis. Now, I like the cooldown. Because uh, the more I can spam those attacks, the better, in my opinion. So we, we got a bit of a cooldown. And we upgraded some of our weapons. So we're a little bit stronger. Still a long way to go. You start at level 10, by the way. Anybody wondering? Do you require assistance? Right, this is Narl. The piece of tablet? What? Uh, are you seeking the Ark? You're like Rudin. The Ark is just some legend. Nothing but a myth, actually. The tripod is believed to be made from the same stuff the gods use to make the Ark. Why don't you take a look around? You might uncover something interesting. Maybe I will have a look around. Okay, so I'm guessing by the name this is some form of, like, teleport to somewhere. But, um, yeah, I can't actually use it yet. Maybe that comes later. Did you find anything special? <laughs> you think if there was a clue to the Ark there, someone would have found it already? Yeah, fair point. Uh, the tripod is a mode of transportation that connects different places. Okay, yeah, two words. Magical teleportation. Okie dog in my flan to think of an homage. So that's like... Uh, what area is doing. Quick travel, I would guess. We can just like, you know, once you start unlocking places, you're going to want to quick travel to places. Ooh. Hello, adventurer. Hello. How can I help you? Um, I would like to know that as well. How can you help me? The tablet about the Ark? Amazing, right? Most people dismiss the Ark as fairy tales, but we bards keep the legends alive through song. She obviously talks nothing like that. I don't know where that voice come from. Oh, sheet music, right. I gotta get used to this. Like it puts it in my inventory before it puts it in the actual place it, you know, it ends up being, which I find weird. Like why not just put it in the place that it's gonna be anyway? Like why put it in your inventory first? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe so you can kind of see that it's there, I guess. But see like now it's here. After, like, I don't know why they don't just skip the inventory part and just put it straight in here. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the trouble is, I can't see what these buttons are. Because this is LB and RB, but it doesn't show me what button it is to click. Which is fine. I'll work it out. I'll get there. If you go to Loco around this time of the year, there's a good chance you'll see white red beaks. We collect their feathers to make clothes for the priests. Do you think you can collect some feathers at Lock Hill and give them to Alea at the gear shop? Yeah, I can do that for you, mate. Don't you worry. So, I think we're going out to get some feathers. It doesn't sound very exciting, but Where are you from, adventurer? hopefully Watch it will be. Oh, feathers. Excuse me, can I have your feathers? Oh. Did I get feathers? Oh, I did. We've got 43 feathers. Okay. Nice. If you do want to see more of this game on my channel, then, you know, leave a like on the video. You know, I'm sure I will bring some more anyway. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.